Hello and welcome to Pimp Up My Final Year Project Report. This series of short videos shows you how to enhance your final year research project report in ways that could be worth up to 10% or more in your final project mark. In this video we're going to see how to label a figure in PowerPoint and then insert it into your Word document. We're going to take this DNA image and turn it into a nicely labeled figure for your final year project report but you can apply the same ideas to whatever type of data you have in your report. Now some people will put an image like that into Word and then try to label it in Word, but it's really hard to get this to look nice and you can only label at the top, it's very hard to label at the side, so that's not what we're going to do. Instead we're going to use PowerPoint. Okay, let's open up PowerPoint, select a blank presentation here, and I'm going to change the layout just to get a blank slide. So now we're ready to put our image into PowerPoint. But before we do that, I want to crop it a little bit. So using whatever photo editing software you have, uh, you usually have an option to crop an area uh, like this. We'll get rid of the black stuff at the bottom and crop our image to get something that we want to put into our final figure. So we'll select that, uh, copy and paste it into PowerPoint here. And then we'll just adjust it in terms of size a little bit. So the idea here is to get your image to be about the size that you want it to appear when you finally print it in your report. So let's label it. So the simplest way to label this uh, gel would be just to number the lanes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll just zoom in a little bit here, pick a text box and type 1. And then um, what I like to do is just select this and copy and paste five of those there. Uh, we'll put one here above that lane, one here, and then a little trick to kind of line them all up is just to select them all and then go to arrange. We'll align them to the top here and then we will again arrange and distribute horizontally. And this gives you them nicely set out like this, evenly spaced. Uh, so now we'll just change the numbering. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. So that's fine. We want to label the DNA ladder here on the side. So we'll refer to the documentation from the company that made the DNA ladder. Uh, looking at that, then we can get the molecular weights and again make a text box, move it into position, and make more text boxes. The uh, good thing is that once you've done this for one gel, you can use the same labels for another gel. So here we see we've got all our labels. Well, not quite all because they wouldn't all fit, but we've labeled most of the bands and we can use again our align tool. So that'll align all those text boxes and that's our basic labeling of our gel. Now, if you want to point out something specific on the gel, you can use an arrow, which you can find in the shapes menu there. Um, so here we're going to point out this band, although it's fairly obvious anyway, but you make a small arrow, um, not on top of the gel, don't make it too big, just a small little arrow to point out the band. Next, what I want to do is to put a bit more information in the lane labeling. So these numbers are okay, we'll move them to the bottom. Now I'm going to copy those numbers, paste them at the top, and rotate them to about 45 degrees, and then we can type in a bit more information. So here I'll type in ladder, and then the other names of the cell lines, which um, correspond to the template for this PCR reaction. So again, we use the alignment tool to get them into position. At this point, we can save our file, um, Let's call it figure 2.1 and uh, then we're going to go to export and we're going to save it not just as PowerPoint but as a JPEG file and that's what we're actually going to put into our Word document. So export that as JPEG. So now we're going to close out PowerPoint and then we're going to open up that JPEG file in our photo editor um, and I want to crop it. So um, let's make a little box around what we want there as our final image to go into our Word document. So crop that and save again. Now we're going to open up Word. This is our final year project report. Uh, we've referred to our figure up here and now we're going to insert our figure as soon as we can after where we've referred to it, so after that paragraph. To insert the figure we go to insert pictures and then select the JPEG file and there it is. So uh, just a couple of things to note. Every figure should be labeled with its number and it should have a title. And we're going to put those in bold so they stand out. And then our figure legend, just to make it look a little bit different from the main text and stand out, to make it 
a little bit smaller font, a little bit different line spacing, and then it's clear that that's the figure legend and this is the main text. So there's our figure inserted, and the last thing to do is maybe just center it. So there you have it, a nicely labeled figure that looks good in your report and is easy for the reader to interpret.